Which one is harder, training for a muscle up or training for a hard marathon, an intense marathon? I haven't done the muscle up yet, but I am working towards it and I don't think I'm too far away. Another maybe few months, maybe, definitely before the end of the year. And the marathon I ran last year, 3 hours and 27 seconds, 4.17 per K. Big weight difference since then, I was 75.6 kilos when I ran the marathon and today I was on the scales with my shoes on at 97 kilos with some food in my belly. Big, big different, 20 kilo difference in just over a year. Which one is harder? I would absolutely say that training for a marathon, an intense marathon, a goal, time goal marathon is definitely way, way harder. Reasons being that you are out there on the feet doing it for much, much longer. Whereas the training for strength stuff, you can only do so much and then the muscles give out. Then you have to recover, take time, allow them to grow stronger and then go again. So there isn't this looming fatigue that you get with a marathon training program. Especially one where you're doing 100k plus weeks like I was. And two speed sessions also. Some days you do your session feel fine the next day and then 48 hours later you just get fatigue and feel like a zombie it's quite insane really just it, it is the best way to describe it just saying you feel like a zombie being at work and trying to function with this fatigue that you have to go through it it just accumulates and if you want to run a solid marathon then it's going to come and it hits you at different times so it's difficult for sure to do that it would be great to not work and just go through that nap in the day have awesome recovery like that but if you're a semi-normal person then that's not a possibility whereas again with the strength stuff i'm finding that i do my session for let's say 20 to 40 minutes muscles are done i stop carry on with my day don't have any mass amounts of fatigue accumulated and it's all good it's quite different i like doing both i am enjoying the strength stuff now but i'm also finding that i have to do a push and then leave it a day or two do a pull session so pull-ups chin-ups and then go back to push so three sessions in the week usually a tuesday thursday and a sunday and then those recovery days in between where the muscles are growing obviously it's working because i've been able to do more than what I started with. I could barely do one underhand and just yesterday I did six overhand single banded pull-ups. So it's going good. Other changes that I've noticed is that the lats, for example, the body's getting a little bit wider and there's muscles that I obviously didn't really feel too much before, but I definitely feel them now. Like for instance, I did pull-ups yesterday and I can feel my lats working and have been strained in a good way so that they'll grow and become stronger. So definitely feeling my body in different ways is kind of cool and obviously the muscles are growing so the way I look is changing and I'm liking it because I mean this is just something that people look at you differently when you're just a very skinny marathon runner. Obviously you don't look muscly or strong but you know you may be able to run a very long distance and that's cool like I really admire that if somebody said oh, I just ran a, a sub 120 half marathon that is like holy shit amazing time whereas if you said you can bench press 100 kilos or something I wouldn't rate that nearly the same in terms of fitness ability but that's just my opinion on this and I rate things and care for different things of different importance I think though, when it comes to that strength stuff, if you can do a muscle up, that is very special. When you see someone doing it in front of you, it's very impressive. So that's what I obviously aspire to do. When people say, oh, vegans are weak, whatever the example stereotype that they offer you, if you can do a muscle up in front of them, I reckon that's just gonna be a shh, enough. Another point that is worth noting is that both of these things you can't achieve overnight. If anyone tells you that on the internet, I would say they're lying. 
the marathon took years and years and years. I went from 438 to 407, 359, 345, 331, 329, 307, then 3 hours and 27 seconds. So there's a whole bunch of steps to get to that stage. And with the training toward a muscle up, the start of the year, like I said, I could barely do one underhand. And obviously my arms, I mean, you can see in the thumbnail, 75 kilos, very little muscle on me, very little to me. That's obviously changing because you can see the contrasting pictures. So anyway, chase the thing that you want to. And if you are doing it as a vegan, amazing. Showing the world that we can thrive and do both strength stuff and cardio stuff is really special. If you can do it not harming innocent beings and not eating their bodily secretions or their flesh, then go you, all power to you. I thought I'd just share where I'm at and thoughts and stuff that I've noticed so far. If you do have any questions, please post them down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.